break furious no more random god now break gets which into isis now wait oak tree okay, jellyfish as form and yeah, isis here my player that should be joe i'm thinking but not entirely positive but from the text before it should be i don't know maybe somebody can confirm for sure Mm, that's a lot of pores. And a Loki from Europe in the end. So Loki, Gaia and Random against Isis and Double Four. Interesting combination. Interesting combination indeed. And kinda nice one for Frozen Wastes. Yeah, so the opponent is gonna be Gaia, Loki and Isis in there as well. It's gonna be probably a bit challenging. No shelty? I don't know. Could be. Maybe it's not Joe, I don't know. The actual ice is here. It is here. So maybe somebody will have to be admitting to be in that. But anyway, you're gonna be able to have now checking on the left side. So apparently that's gonna be already granting all the bit of wood into Loki, into Hero P from who was actually the guy? Ah, the pocket player. Pocket player in here has going to be Lyor. <laughs> As you're already asking if they should be resigning. Yeah, well, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> but uh, quite frankly, the opposing team should be having a bit of an advantage looking at the combination of the gods and looking at the players as well. This is going to be probably a bit, dif a bit difficult and whatnot, as they are already brewing a bit of a plan. Safe and no restore. <laughs> And they could be potentially avoiding complete another massacre. But maybe they are still gonna be surprising us. As this gold is certainly not all that great though for the Mantas. And it's gonna be leading into a bit of a problem for him. As the Egyptian. And he doesn't seem to be having the secondary one. So this is gonna be one gold spawn of a frozen waste. So therefore this gold is gonna be a bit of a problem. But at the same time, the secondary gold is really close. Within one skin of his base. And that, on the other hand, could be certainly helpful. For going fast heroic, dropping Miguel right next to it. And stuff like that. So, doesn't have to be that tragic in the end, as the gold trade now for the pocket for Lyor seems to be kind of alright for an Atlantean, just gonna be dropping a mana or two back and he's gonna be reasonably safe. As for the last player, the one that we started with, his gold seems to be fairly protected by both the tower and the wood line, so there shouldn't be any kind of problem with it all together. In the middle there is gonna be a relic in the meantime for better Archer Ballista and whatnot, the LOS and range. Actually really good, it could be helpful for... No, rather would be thinking, for example, for the guy, I'm potentially for a few Kero Ballistae against the enemy, whatever they're gonna be doing. Like, for example, they could be going for some kind of Ulsax themselves, but looking at this, they probably will be kind of splitting over. One of them is gonna be coming for the horses, one of the Thors, and the second one, who's gonna be playing against Loki. So here to the bottom, I'm thinking it's gonna be Isis. Will be probably coming for Seti for a few more better Hersers, and to have some kind of counterplay to everything that the opponent is gonna be throwing at him. In the pocket, this is gonna be brickhead with the Isis. That's an excellent position for Isis to be in on my play like this, or yeah, well, in, in this kind of matchup overall. Now, as far as this gold though, all the way through back, not entirely greatly protected, but at the same time, you can probably drop a few buildings behind it, like a temple and a few houses, and it's gonna be reasonably protected anyway. But still, probably would be hoping for a bit better position, but it's not entirely that bad. As all the way through the top, there's gonna be a gold that is nicely protected for Oak Tree, aka Jellyfish. So therefore we are going to be expecting that this part is going to be easy for him to wall up. We also mustn't forget the possibility of double forest fire that could be potentially come in if that's not going to be even the force city for one of the Thors for the enemy team. So at least one I will be expecting, maybe even two. Uh, so far this seems to be positioned kind of alright, not going to be risking anything at all. And it's all the way to the bottom, that seems to be pretty much the same deal. So really good thinking at this point for from Lyor, as there's not any risk of the forest fire wrecking the bases. So some of those three monkeys, another relic is for better hero damage versus smith units, that is rather cool. That's yeah, gonna be probably rather helpful all around, and scout LOS plus two, oracle gets plus four LOS, that's quite nice to know and whatnot. As better archer ballista, hero ballista, LOS and range, we have already seen that a bit before. And the last relic all the way to the bottom, maybe last, maybe next to last, is gonna be cheaper villages though. That is rather excellent and certainly helpful. And it could be really useful for absolutely everybody across the game. But anyway, let's kind of check. This is going to be so far Freya. So we're not going to be seeing switch into Force City potentially for Isis here. My player here. So that he could be having some better fight against the Loki. So it's a bit risky. 
It's a bit risky as those mythic units are gonna be a bit of a problem. But maybe he actually hopes he's gonna be having some kind of a quick assistance from Brighead. And so far his TCs are reasonably nice. So he could be going for two TC fast, three heroic, no problem. Even though we could be thinking that one TC on aggressive map like this could be potentially slightly better, but it really is going to be depending on how well his teammates are going to be playing and how much they are going to be protecting him by potentially some kind of assault and, how is it say, pressure, pressure on the other opponents. So, the Ustak from Oak was just going for a bit of a fun in the middle, as RKTC is getting captured by Lyor, so he's gonna be advancing quite a bit later as the temple is just now getting done. So about like 550 advance for him. He definitely has to hope that his teammates are going to be strong enough to deal with all the potential problems. As uh, 0P is going for one temple and one longhouse build up. So he's gonna be wanted to be having just a protection of a few. Throwing Axman a bit later, maybe even Ulf Sachs, depending on what the opponent is gonna be doing. So so far, a few harassers are coming in. As Isis is already gonna be dropping into the next age as well. With bust for the Mantas, that's not much of a surprise. And otherwise, nothing out of the ordinary either. So far, fairly standard, all of it. As the second TC though, is already getting captured right about now by the Mantas. Quite a, not entirely like aggressive one, but it's not like he has any kind of options because this is his back TC. It really is, so it's like the safest one that he could be getting. As otherwise, he does have at least a bit of a decoy in the middle with all the villages on the hunt. So you can be kind of thinking that maybe that's gonna be fine in the end. Who knows? As the relic here, that's the one for better hero damage versus smith units, is being taken by Oak Tree. Potentially back home, as so far he's trying to blind his opponent, at least for the time being. As all the way on the right flank, this is gonna be hero, hero P pushing into Isis base. And right about now, even casting the spy. So he doesn't want to be destroying this one Harris here. A refer smoke tracker is gonna be the spy in enemy ranks. Quite a nice protection right about now. All the wood woodcutters and potentially even the tower. All of things coming for him, obviously, for a bit faster who Harassers there and horses obviously are gonna be the unit of choice for him. So a few Harassers to deal with potential mythical spawns that might be coming in into the battle and on top of that plenty of horses to run absolutely everywhere around. For the other player to the top he advanced through Forseti. So Okti, um, this is kinda really curious. Cause I would be thinking that Forseti could be the, uh, the one who would be against Loki. And it's exactly the opposite way around. I'm not entirely certain if they communicated about that or what not. Cause it's kinda strange slightly. But kind of going for Seti here doesn't have to be all that bad because he's gonna, gonna be expecting the ancestors from the opponent and therefore he might be wanting to get Hercules ready for that. But still, does he need to be going for Seti for that? I don't know. Don't really know. But he's going definitely for the second DC in there all the way to the back. Otherwise, that seems to be pretty much it for the second DCs. Or, well, Brigitte went for two DC faster than Hurricane himself, apparently. So they're gonna be having the same thought, him and the Mandas. Let's see who's gonna be executing better. And I'm kinda curious if maybe somebody want, will want to be blocking the enemy prosperity, because so far he hasn't been cast. So that kind of thinking could be somewhere going for the players. So it will be definitely screwing up the heroic for the Egyptian. So it wouldn't be such a bad choice in there. But yeah, of course, risking it and losing. Ancestors with Eclipse doesn't have to be really all that worth it. But anyway, he's gonna be right about now. Hero OP trying to yet again get into the green base as Green is trying to get a bit of walling going as a bit of a quick walling is up from Hero P. Very well done. Inspired by Age of Empires 2, quite certainly. And that was working kinda nicely, but unfortunately he just wasn't wasn't able to drop all that many walls there as quickly as he needed, and he probably didn't have resources for buildings yet. Yeah, he's he was having only 100 wood. So he couldn't exactly drop anything like a long house or whatever like that. So unfortunately, it didn't exactly work out, but still, in the meantime, he has been able to kind of continue with the walls a bit more to the right flank. Oh, this is gonna be sad performance right about now, as Isis is gonna be exactly fine in him, destroying the villages. No, villages. Right now, they are basically doing work of villages and the other civilizations, so those heresies in there. As in the middle, there's the second DC finish for Okti, as Brigette is already casting the Prosperity, and therefore, we are gonna be expecting him clicking into the Heroic Age himself. So Neftis is in. How's he looking at Romantas? Hmm, doesn't seem to be going for the Heroic Age yet. So what's exactly the plan? I mean, like, he's having a bit of an army, at least, with the Axeman, because he needs to be defending against the opponent, whereas Yellow doesn't have to be doing anything at all like that. Already moving forward for dropping a Migdol. 
All right there. So he was maybe hoping to even drop it somewhere a bit more into the middle. But he definitely had to stop because he probably noticed Lyor coming forward. But it seems like this one, Romelo, is not going to be enough against all of that. And therefore, this should be reasonably quickly finished. And therefore, not much of a problem going on. So that's going to be quite a solid raiding by Isis in the middle. You can see the hunters have been caught off guard in the middle of the map. And all of them are going to be paying for their transgression. And for, for their loitering around. Yep, it was actually quite solid. Pretty much a bit of a problem right about now for a, for a hero P because losing all those hunters, that's something that you won't be able to deal with all that easily. At least he's stopping, or well, stopping, slowing down the economy for a big head. But the yeah, problem is that the middle is already down and the ISIS machine can be starting in full. So that is prosperity for the Manta, so therefore he should be advancing himself. With Neft is already on the way, Scuddy is there as well. Scuddy is there as well. It's kind of interesting right about now that actually the commands work, even when you type, for example, this. Hmm. I'm not entirely certain it was actually the case before. Maybe it was. Maybe I just didn't notice those situations before. But it seems slightly curious to me. So, if it was maybe something changed, a definitely nice job. But maybe it's just working how it always was. And I always did different typos and whatever. And that's why it wasn't working before for me. Anyway, in the middle, there's gonna be a second DC for Hero P right now taken. And also a bit of a healing given. With Metionis being cheaper, that's gonna be really important for Hero P as Loki. It's gonna be getting cheaper piggies, that's gonna be really helpful. Quite significantly. You can see that Big Head is already moving a bit more through some with a few units at least, but it seems like not really anything else. It's just going for the bellies, and apparently, yeah, those guys are gonna be having 100% efficiency with the woodcutter in. We would cut in there, but we need to be moving into the middle because there's a bit of a fight and apparently some spideys waiting to be having some dinner. So let's see if they are gonna be strong enough for the whole chariots. They're gonna be getting close by somewhere. Oh, oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> even the chariots, even the wood. They're gonna be eating even the wood wheels in there. But still, that is of course going to be resulting into Lyor having to retreat right about now. As unfortunately, he's also going to be raided. There's only one citizen, so it's not the end of the world. Definitely not the end of the world for him. But of course, it's a bit of a problem. Because right about now, he will have to be somehow protecting this slightly more. As I see my player is definitely right now having most of the army away from his base. You can see he doesn't have all that many upgrades. And that should be resulting into red attacking straight with a solid army. But the base building by Isis is quite nicely done. He does have a bit of army there prepared as well with throwing axemen and whatnot. So very, very nice thinking and it's gonna be a bit of an issue for the opponent to deal with properly. Askari is on her way as well to exactly help against the th flame weapons. Problem is that if they're gonna be cast already now, then he's gonna be just a bit too late with that, won't he? So front is gonna be right now disrupted for Lyor. So as they continue with the horses, he's still continuing for Isis. So very well done. And the citizen is gonna be dead. It's gonna be second in about a minute. So that's kind of nice, as all the way into the middle, there's going to be Big Head switching forward for a bit of a raiding himself. And of course, kind of even looking at the TC, as that's the front TC for Isis, and Isis should be really kind of careful about that quite a bit. All the way to the top, bit of a fight. Oh, well. Fortunately, those villages are not going to be heading into better tomorrows. No, this one actually is going to be noticing quickly enough, this one as well potentially. As only one is going to be following through, so therefore she should be reasonably safe. As all the way to the top, there's already the market, obviously. A few idols in there from Big Head as well. But much more importantly, we need to be looking at the engagement finally between Oak Jellyfish and Domantas, as the army is getting quite strong and potentially even a few mercenaries could be joining into the fun. As the TC is quite close by. And that's a pretty big problem right now for Oak because he's fighting at only two TCs and he's fighting against four TC Domantas, as he has taken one of them. Now that was belonging to his enemy originally. So we are looking at medium infantry or the cavalry with copper shields. The opponent is probably not going to be having anything all that much as ancestors with eclipse are already in. And it's of course going to be something that will be quite hard for Blue to deal with because he just doesn't have the population limit. And right now he even received a nuclear bomb into his middle and he will just have to retreat. Even though he does have plenty of hair seals and on top of that even Yaros, the army is just not going to be good enough for that. The numbers are not speaking in his favor. Nicely done right about now by the Mandas. Nicely done indeed, as all the way through the top, there's yet again gonna be raiding on the gold mine. 
So we get kind of thinking that he can be still fighting here. But the problem is, or the fighting that he can be getting in here. Unfortunately, he no doesn't have enough. Seems like that actually the new recruits that are coming forward are gonna be good enough. Especially right about now the chariot archers hidden behind the wood line. I'm gonna be able to shoot at all the units, maybe a brother. Vinny fighting could be helpful with helping with that as well. But it seems to me that actually Brigitte really needs all the gold that he can get. And you can see only 142. So he doesn't want to be Vinny fighting and just wants to be gathering as soon as possible. And then in long run, the army is gonna be winning against the red player. But he needs to be really kind of confident about all of this. As apparently market has switched to the bottom. From DC or from this. No, no, not from the TC, from the market. Slightly interesting, but nonetheless, the gold is still under threat. You can see Abrigat is having problems finishing with that altogether, and with the flame weapons already from the red player. That's fairly interesting. I'm much more important right about now that it was because of the army of ICZ, my player, already to the bottom, well prepared to be going for the attack. Unfortunately, that's exactly the frost. And they are well right about now what ICZ could be doing. Instead of yet again hitting all the units for one damage each hit, uh, each second, he could be going for a bit of raiding, maybe taking down this TC, like quite certainly taking down the TC in the long run. But yeah, well, that just did not happen all that much. Uh, it's inside the base, there's gonna be still a bit of raiding continuing, but there's finally gonna be at least a bit of assistance with the ancestors. Problem is that we're even looking at some hero Gondari and even a few hero turmas here and there, and therefore Big Head, even though he does have the, secret, or the extra army right now coming forward, it's not gonna be good enough, and raiding from the bottom team is gonna be much more powerful than what he can, sorry, than what he can muster. Yeah, that random mountain giant spawn in here. That random mountain giant, as all the way to the bottom, and now the frost is thawing, at least on the little part of the map. As there are gonna be, of course, quite nice double gold mines in here, and much more important, the piggy is probably going for a bit of a raiding in the TC somewhere in the middle. But we need to be switching all the way to the top as well, as the mantles has finally made his way into the blue base, and that's exactly where the players are going to be resigning. As we have seen after Ancestors' complete destruction of the top base, we have seen that, and the inevitable push forward, just unfortunately, Okti couldn't have enough army to deal with all of it that he was having in front. Very well done by the bottom team. That was very well done. And they wanted to resign at the start. And they wanted to resign and thought they are not gonna be winning it. <laughs> no, no. They really kinda own this game pretty much. But reading from ICC, my player was kinda nice. That wasn't half bad with all the horses. Unfortunately, that was kinda like the only thing here that was going well for them. Hmm, Gaia in the middle sucks here, says Big Head, but on the side's broken. Interesting. Something to potentially note for some other games. We're gonna be having that. Okti just now kind of looking for some kind of advices how to play against the Isis. As he kind of believes that he doesn't have all that much of a chance in there, in the matchup. Yeah, the Mantas was going for a hunt quite far away from his base, so that definitely could have worked. He just kind of used what was given to him. He was already having the risky second TC quite far away into the middle. But it was also early into the game, so not entirely certain it could have been completely stopped. Yeah, I never understood why he actually went for Seti. I never understood why Oak the Jellyfish went for four city, why it wasn't Isis at the bottom against the Loki. So, not sure. Not sure. Let's look into the post game then. Mm, a really good echo from the Mantas, you can see really good 2TC booming. Brighead was nowhere near, and he was kind of doing for a similar strategy in there. Like 4,000 resources difference between them, that's a lot. That's a lot at this point. And Lyor with the Gaia, kind of close by. Seems slightly better. Yeah, slightly better overall on the economy, but... Still the impact kind of came at the very end of the game, 
Before that, he wasn't really able to do too much. Just be a bit of a target for raiding. So that the allies are not raided too much, I guess. Ah, because he didn't know that Loki was in middle. Okay, he thought Loki middle, that's why he, that's why he advanced through for Seti. That explains it. Well, bad scouting in the end is going to be one of the reasons for the end of this game. Interesting idea with the heroic cage in there. You can see advanced three seconds after the man does. But apparently that wasn't the correct decision on this game. As the Matas was just able to outproduce him and outsteal him on the TCs as well. Well, that was a solid drop from Lyor. You can see basically lost all the army and he wasn't replacing that because of the heroic age. So that can happen when you are trying to invest into the next age. Kind of same the same, or rather the same here for the Mandas. Also lost stuns because he wasn't recuperating as he invested 2000 resources into the Mythic. Yeah, well, here Oak Tree just didn't have anything to, anything to recuperate from. As <laughs> his base was just getting destroyed at that point. GG.